Kyrgyzstan, officially the Kyrgyz Republic, also known as Kyrgyzstan in Russian, is a landlocked country in Central Asia. It is bordered by Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and China. Its capital and largest city is Bishkek. Kyrgyzstan's history spans a variety of cultures and empires, although geographically isolated by its highly mountainous terrain. Kyrgyzstan has been at the crossroads of several great civilizations as part of the Silk Road and other commercial routes. Inhabited by a succession of tribes and clans, Kyrgyzstan has periodically fallen under larger domination. Between periods of self government, it was ruled by Gok Turks, the Uyghur Empire, and the Khitan people, before being conquered by the Mongols in the 13th century. It regained independence but was invaded by Kamiks, Manchus, and Uzbeks. In 1876, it became part of the Russian Empire, remaining in the USSR as the Kyrgyz Soviet Socialist Republic after the Russian Revolution. Following Mikhail Gorbachev's democratic reforms in the USSR, in 1990 pro independence candidate Askar Akuev was elected president. On 31 August 1991, Kyrgyzstan declared independence from Moscow and a democratic government was established. Kyrgyzstan attained sovereignty as a nation state after the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991. Since independence, Kyrgyzstan has officially been a unitary presidential republic. Then between 2010 and 2021 a de jure a unitary parliamentary republic, although de facto it had an executive president and was governed as a semi-presidential republic before reverting to a presidential system in 2021. It continues to endure ethnic conflicts, revolts, economic troubles, transitional governments and political conflict. Ethnic Kyrgyz make up the majority of the country's 6 million people, followed by significant minorities of Uzbeks and Russians. Kyrgyz is closely related to other Turkic languages, although Russian remains spoken and is an official language, a legacy of a century of Russification. 90% of the population are Muslims with the majority being Sunni. Stan is a word in the Persian language meaning place of or country. The 40 race sun on the flag of Kyrgyzstan is a reference to those same 40 tribes and the graphical element in the sun's center depicts the wooden crown, called Tunduk, of a yurt, a portable dwelling traditionally used by nomads in the steppes of Central Asia. In terms of naming conventions, the country's official name is Kyrgyz Republic whenever it is used in some international arenas and foreign relations. However, in the English-speaking world, the spelling Kyrgyzstan is commonly used while its former name Kyrgyzia is rarely used as such. History Early History According to David C. King, Scythians were early settlers in present-day Kyrgyzstan. The Kyrgyz state reached its greatest expansion after defeating the Uyghur Khaganate in 840 AD. From the 10th century the Kyrgyz migrated as far as the Tangshan range and maintained their dominance over this territory for about 200 years. In the 12th century the Kyrgyz dominion had shrunk to the Altai range and Sion mountains as a result of the Mongol expansion. With the rise of the Mongol Empire in the 13th century, the Kyrgyz migrated south. The Kyrgyz peacefully became a part of the Mongol Empire in 1207. Isakul Lake was a stopover on the Silk Road, a land route for traders, merchants, and other travelers from the Far East to Europe. Kyrgyz tribes were overrun in the 17th century by the Mongols, in the mid-18th century by the Manchurian Qing dynasty, and in the early 19th century by the Uzbek native Kokand. Russian conquest. In the late 19th century, the eastern part of what is today Kyrgyzstan, mainly the Isakul region was ceded to the Russian Empire by King China through the Treaty of Tarbagatai. The territory, then known in Russian as Kyrgyzia, was formally incorporated into the empire in 1876. The Russian takeover was met with numerous revolts, and many of the Kyrgyz opted to relocate to the Pamir Mountains and Afghanistan. In addition, the suppression of the 1916 rebellion against Russian rule in Central Asia caused many Kyrgyz later to migrate to China. Since many ethnic groups in the region were and still are split between neighboring states at a time when borders were more porous and less regulated, 
it was common to move back and forth over the mountains, depending on where life was perceived as better, this might mean better reins for pasture or better government during oppression. Soviet Kyrgyzstan Soviet power was initially established in the region in 1919, and the Karakyrgyz Autonomous Oblast was created within the Russian SFSR. The phrase Kara Kyrgyz was used until the mid-1920s by the Russians to distinguish them from the Kazakhs, who were also referred to as Kyrgyz. On 5 December 1936, the Kyrgyz Soviet Socialist Republic was established as a constituent union republic of the Soviet Union. During the 1920s, Kyrgyzstan developed considerably in cultural, educational, and social life. Literacy was greatly improved, and a standard literary language was introduced by imposing Russian on the populace. Economic and social development also was notable. Many aspects of the Kyrgyz national culture were retained despite the suppression of nationalist activity under Joseph Stalin. The early years of Glasnost had little effect on the political climate in Kyrgyzstan. However, the Republic's press was permitted to adopt a more liberal stance and to establish a new publication, Literatini Kyrgyzstan, by the Union of Writers. Unofficial political groups were forbidden, but several groups that emerged in 1989 to deal with the acute housing crisis were permitted to function. According to the last Soviet census in 1989, ethnic Kyrgyz made up only 22% of the residents of the northern city of Fransna Bishkek while more than 60% were Russians, Ukrainians, and people from other Slavic nations. Nearly 10% of the capital's population were Jewish a rather unique fact. For almost any place in the Soviet Union, except the Jewish Autonomous Oblast, in June 1990, ethnic tensions between Uzbeks and Kyrgyz surfaced in the language equals N. Attempts to appropriate Uzbek collective farms for housing development triggered the Osh riots. A state of emergency and curfew were introduced and a Skiraku F, the youngest of five sons born into a family of collective farm workers in northern Kyrgyzstan, was elected president in October of that same year. By then, the Kyrgyzstan Democratic Movement KDM had developed into a significant political force with support in parliament. On 15 December 1990, the Supreme Soviet voted to change the republic's name to the Republic of Kyrgyzstan. The following January, Akuev introduced new government structures and appointed a new cabinet composed mainly of younger, reform-oriented politicians. In February 1991, the name of the capital, Franz, was changed back to its pre-revolutionary name of Bishkek. Despite these political moves toward independence, Economic realities seemed to work against secession from the Soviet Union. In a referendum on the preservation of the Soviet Union in March 1991, 88.7% of the voters approved the proposal to retain the Soviet Union as a renewed federation. Nevertheless, secessionist forces pushed Kyrgyzstan's independence through in August of that same year. On 19 August 1991, when the State Emergency Committee assumed power in Moscow, there was an attempt to depose Akuev in Kyrgyzstan. After the coup collapsed the following week, Akuev and Vice President German Kuznetsov announced their resignations from the URL equals https colon slash slash com slash place slash kaijistan access state equals 2021 -0105 website equals encyclopedia britannica language equals n independence in october 1991 akuf ran unopposed and was elected president of the new independent republic by direct ballot receiving 95 percent of the votes cast together with the representatives of seven other republics that same month he signed the Treaty of the New Economic Community. Finally, on 21 December 1991, Kyrgyzstan joined with the other four Central Asian republics to formally enter the new Commonwealth of Independent States. Kyrgyzstan gained full independence a few days later on 25 December 1991. The following day, on 26 December 1991, the Soviet Union ceased to exist. In 1992, Kyrgyzstan joined the United Nations and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSS. On 5 May 1993, 
the official name changed from the Republic of Kyrgyzstan to the Kyrgyz Republic, in 2005. A popular uprising known as the Tulip Revolution, took place after the parliamentary elections in March 2005, forced President Askar Akuev's resignation on 4 April 2005. Opposition leaders formed a coalition, and a new government was formed under President Kamanbek Bekayev and Prime Minister Felix Kulaf. The nation's capital was looted during the protests. Political stability appeared to be elusive. However, as various groups and factions allegedly linked to organized crime jockeyed for power, three of the 75 members of parliament elected in March 2005 were assassinated, and another member was assassinated on 10 May 2006 shortly after winning his murdered brother's seat in a by-election. All four are reputed to have been directly involved in major illegal business ventures. On 6 April 2010, civil unrest broke out in the town of Tillers after a demonstration against government corruption and increased living expenses. The protests became violent, spreading to Bishkek by the following day. Protesters attacked President Bukayev's offices, as well as state-run radio and television stations. There were conflicting reports that Interior Minister Molda Musa Kongatayev had been beaten. On 7 April 2010, President Bukayev imposed a state of emergency. Police and special services arrested many opposition leaders. In response, protesters took control of the internal security headquarters former KGB headquarters and a state television channel in the capital, Bishkek. Reports by Kyrgyzstan government officials indicated that at least 75 people were killed and 458 hospitalized in bloody clashes with police in the capital. Reports say that at least 80 people died as a result of clashes with police. A transition government, led by former Foreign Minister Ozawatun Eva, by 8 April 2010 had taken control of state media and government facilities in the capital. But Bukayev had not resigned from office. President Bukayev returned to his home in Jalabad and stated his terms of resignation at a press conference on 13 April 2010. On 15 April 2010, Bakayev left the country and flew to neighboring Kazakhstan, along with his wife and two children. The country's provisional leaders announced that Bakayev signed a formal letter of resignation prior to his departure. Prime Minister Dany Ayusinov accused Russia of supporting the protests. This accusation was denied by Russian Prime Minister, Vladimir Putin. Opposition members also called for the closing of the US-controlled Manners Air Base. Russia's President Dmitry Medvedev ordered measures to ensure the safety of Russian nationals and tighten security around Russian sites in Kyrgyzstan to protect them against possible attacks. The 2010 South Kyrgyzstan ethnic clashes occurred between the two main ethnic groups, the Uzbeks and Kyrgyz, in Nosh, the second largest city in the country, on the 11th of June 2010. The clashes incited fears that the country could be heading towards a civil war finding it difficult to control the situation. Oktan Eva, the interim leader, sent a letter to the Russian president, Dmitry Medvedev, asking him to send Russian troops to help the country control the situation. Medvedev's press attaché, Natalia Dimakova, said in a reply to the letter, it is an internal conflict and for now Russia does not see the conditions for taking part in its resolution. The clashes caused a shortage of food and other essential commodities with more than 200 killed and 1,685 people hurt. The Russian government, however, said it would be sending humanitarian aid to the troubled nation. According to local sources, there was a clash between two local gangs and it did not take long for the violence to spread to the rest of the city. There were also reports that the armed forces supported ethnic Kyrgyz gangs entering the city. But the government denied the allegations. Oktan Beeva accused the family of Bakayev of instigating the riots. AFP reported a veil of smoke covering the whole city. Authorities in neighboring Uzbekistan said at least 30,000 Uzbeks had crossed the border to escape the riots. Temas RAF, deputy chief of the interim government, said there were local clashes and that it was not possible for the government to fully control the situation. He added that there were not sufficient security forces to contain the violence. 
media agencies reported on 14 June 2010 that the Russian government was considering a request by the Kyrgyz government, an emergency meeting of the Collective Security Treaty Organization CSDO was held on the same day 14 June to discuss the role it could play in helping to end the violence. Ethnic violence waned, according to the Kyrgyz government. By 15 June 2010 and Kaiju's president Rosa Otunbeeva held a news conference that day and declared that there was no need for Russia to send in troops to quell the violence. There were at least 170 people left dead by 15 June 2010 but Pascal Mayage Wagner of the International Committee of the Red Cross said their official death toll was an underestimate. The UN High Commissioner told reporters in Geneva that evidence suggested that the violence seemed to have been staged up. Ethnic Uzbeks threatened to blow up an oil depot in Osh if they failed to get guarantees of protection. The United Nations said it believed that the attacks were orchestrated, targeted and well planned. Kaiji's officials told the media that a person suspected to be behind the violence in Jalabad had been detained. On 2 August 2010, a Kyrgyz government commission began investigating the causes of the clashes. Members of the National Commission, led by former Parliament Speaker Rabdigani Erkelbef, met with people from the predominantly ethnic Uzbek villages of Madi, Shark, and Kaizil Kishtak in the Karasu district of Oshoblast. This national commission, including representatives of many ethnic groups, was established by a presidential decree. President Rosa Otunbeeva also said in August 2010 that an international commission would be formed to investigate the clashes. The international commission conducted an extensive investigation and prepared a report. The Independent International Commission of Inquiry into the events in southern Kyrgyzstan in June 2010 kick. It stated that the provisional government, which had assumed power two months before the events, either failed to recognize or underestimated the deterioration in inter-ethnic relations in southern Kyrgyzstan. The KIC concluded that the provisional government had the responsibility to ensure that the security forces were adequately trained and appropriately equipped to deal with situations of civil unrest but were unable to take necessary measures. As of today, Kyrgyzstan celebrates its Independence Day annually on August 31, the anniversary of its Declaration of Independence in 1991. Since independence, Kyrgyzstan has made some impressive developments such as creating genuinely free news media and fostering an active political opposition. Geography Kyrgyzstan is a landlocked country in Central Asia, bordering Kazakhstan, China, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. It lies between latitudes 39 degrees and 44 degrees north, and longitudes 69 degrees and 81 degrees east. It is farther from the sea than any other individual country, and all its rivers flow into closed drainage systems which do not reach the sea. The mountainous region of the Tanshan covers over 80% of the country. Kyrgyzstan is occasionally referred to as the Switzerland of Central Asia, as a result, with the remainder made up of valleys and basins. Isikul Lake, or Isikul in Kyrgyz, in the northeastern Tanshan is the largest lake in Kyrgyzstan and the second largest mountain lake in the world after Titicaca. The lowest point is in Karadariya Karadayu at 132 meters and the highest peaks are in the Kakshaltu range, forming the Chinese border. Peak Jengjish Chokasu, at, is the highest point and is considered by geologists to be the northernmost peak over in the world. Heavy snowfall in winter leads to spring floods which often cause serious damage downstream. The runoff from the mountains is also used for hydroelectricity. Kyrgyzstan has significant deposits of metals including gold and rare earth metals. Due to the country's predominantly mountainous terrain, less than 8% of the land is cultivated, and this is concentrated in the northern lowlands and the fringes of the Fergana Valley. Bishkek in the north is the capital and largest city, with 937,400 inhabitants. The second city is the ancient town of Vosh. Located in the Fergana Valley near the border with Uzbekistan, the principal river is the Kara Daria, which flows west through the Fergana Valley into Uzbekistan. 
Across the border in Uzbekistan it meets another major Kyrgyz river, the Narin. The confluence forms the Sirdaria, which originally flowed into the Aral Sea. It no longer reaches the sea, as its water is withdrawn upstream to irrigate cotton fields in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and southern Kazakhstan. The Chu River also briefly flows through Kyrgyzstan before entering Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan contains seven terrestrial ecosystems, Tenshan Montan Conifer Forests, Alai Western Tenshan Steppe, Jisaro Alai Open Woodlands, Tenshan Foothill Arid Steppe, Pamir Alpine Desert and Tundra, Tenshan Montan Steppe and Meadows, and Central Asian Northern Desert. It had a 2019 Forest Landscape Integrity Index mean score of 8. 86 tenths, ranking it 13th globally out of 172 countries. Climate The climate varies regionally. The low-lying Fergana Valley in the southwest is subtropical and extremely hot in summer, with temperatures reaching the northern foothills are temperate and the Tenshan varies from dry continental to polar climate, depending on elevation. In the coldest areas temperatures are sub-zero for around 40 days in winter, and even some desert areas experience constant snowfall in this period. In the lowlands the temperature ranges from around in January to in July. Climate change, enclaves and enclaves. There is one exclave, the tiny village of Barak population 627, in the Fergana Valley. The village is surrounded by Uzbek territory. It is located on the road from Osh Kyrgyzstan to Khodjabat Uzbekistan about northwest from the Kyrgyz Uzbek border in the direction of Andijan. Barak is administratively part of Karas U district in Kyrgyzstan's Osh region. There are four Uzbek enclaves within Kyrgyzstan. Two of them are the towns of Sok, with an area of underpopulation of 42,800 in 1993, although some estimates go as high as 70,099% are Tajiks. The remainder Uzbeks, and Shakimardan also known as Shahimardan, Shahimardan, or Shaimardan, area and a population of 5,100 in 1993, 91% are Uzbeks, the remainder Kaijis. The other two are the tiny territories of Chonkara roughly long by wide and Jania Isle a dot of land barely across. Chonkara is on the Sok River, between the Uzbek border and the Sok enclave. Jania Isle is about east of Batkan, in a northward projection of the Kajiz Uzbek border near Kamian. There are also two enclaves belonging to Tajikistan, Vorok exclave area between Population estimated between 23,000 and 29,000, 95% Tajiks and 5% Kaijis, distributed among 17 villages, located south of Isfara on the right bank of the Karafshin River, and a small settlement near the Kaijis railway station of Kairagash. Politics, political system. The 1993 constitution defines the form of government as a democratic unicameral republic. The executive branch includes a president and prime minister. The parliament currently is unicameral. The judicial branch comprises a supreme court, local courts and a chief prosecutor. In March 2002, in the southern district of Aksi, five people protesting the arbitrary arrest of an opposition politician were shot dead by police, sparking nationwide protests. President Askarakov initiated a constitutional reform process which initially included the participation of a broad range of government, civil and social representatives in an open dialogue, leading to a February 2003 referendum marred by voting irregularities. The amendments to the constitution approved by the referendum resulted in stronger control by the president and weakened the parliament and the constitutional court. Parliamentary elections for a new, 75-seat unicameral legislature were held on 27 February and 13 March 2005, but were widely viewed as corrupt. The subsequent protests led to a bloodless coup on 24 March 2005 after which Akuf fled the country with his family and was replaced by acting President Kamanbek Bekfc, Tulip Revolution. On 10 July 2005, acting President Bekf won the presidential election in a landslide, with 88.9% of the vote, and was inaugurated on 14 August. However, 
Initial public support for the new administration substantially declined in subsequent months as a result of its apparent inability to solve the corruption problems that had plagued the country since its independence from the Soviet Union, along with the murders of several members of parliament. Large scale protests against President Bukayev took place in Bishkek in April and November 2006 with opposition leaders accusing the president of failing to live up to his election promises to reform the country's constitution and transfer many of his presidential powers to parliament. Kyrgyzstan is also a member of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSS, a league of 56 participating states committed to peace, transparency, and the protection of human rights in Eurasia, as an OSS participating state. Kyrgyzstan's international commitments are subject to monitoring under the mandate of the U.S. Helsinki Commission. In December 2008, the state-owned broadcast KTRK announced that it would require prior submission of Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty programs, which KTRK are required to retransmit according to a 2005 agreement. KTRK had stopped retransmitting RFE-RL programming in October 2008. A week after it failed to broadcast an RFE-RL program called Inconvenient Questions which covered the October elections, claiming to have lost the missing material. President Bukayev had criticized this program in September 2008, while KTRK told RFE-RL that its programming was too negative. Reporters Without Borders, which ranks Kyrgyzstan 111th out of 173 countries on its Press Freedom Index, strongly criticized the decision. On 3 February 2009, President Kamanbek Bakayev announced the imminent closure of the Menas Air Base, the only U.S. military base remaining in Central Asia. The closure was approved by Parliament on 19 February 2009 by a vote of 78 to 1 for the government-backed bill. However, after much behind-the-scenes negotiation between Kyrgyz, Russian and American diplomats, the decision was reversed in June 2009. The Americans were allowed to remain under a new contract, whereby rent would increase from $17.4 million to $60 million annually. Kyrgyzstan is among the 50 countries in the world with the highest perceived level of corruption. The 2016 Corruption Perception Index for Kyrgyzstan is 28 on a scale of 0 most corrupt to 100 least corrupt. In 2010 another revolution erupted in the country c. April uprising. President Kamanbek Bakayev together with his relatives including his son Maksim and brother Janish, were forced to flee to Kazakhstan and then sought asylum in Belarus. Rosawatan Bayeva, who was appointed interim president, announced that she did not intend to run for the presidential elections in 2011. The election was held in November and won by the then Prime Minister Olmaz Bekatambuev, leader of the Social Democratic Party, and Atambuev was sworn in as president on 1 December 2011. Amir Bekpabanov was appointed Prime Minister on the same day and was confirmed on 23 December 2011. In October 2017, Soron Beji Imbkov, a former Prime Minister backed by incumbent Olmaz Bekatambuev, was elected as the new president of Kyrgyzstan. On 7 August 2019, the Special Forces of Kyrgyzstan launched an operation against the residence of former President Olmaz Bekatambuev, supposedly based on charges of corruption made against him. In a meeting of the Security Council, President G. Imbkov accused Atambuev of violating the Constitution. In October 2020, President Soron Beji Imbkov resigned after protests caused by irregularities in parliamentary elections on 4 October 2020. In January 2021, Sadi Yaparov was elected as the new president after winning the presidential election by landslide. In April 2021, the majority of voters approved in the constitutional referendum a new constitution that will give new powers to the president, strengthening significantly presidency. Military. The armed forces of Kyrgyzstan were formed after the collapse of the Soviet Union and consist of the land forces, air forces, internal troops, National Guard, and the Border Guard. 
the military works with the U.S. Armed Forces, which leased a facility named the Transit Center at Menas at Menas International Airport near Bishkek until June 2014. In recent years, the armed forces have begun developing better relations with Russia including signing modernization deals worth $1.1 bn and partaking in more exercises with Russian troops. The Agency of National Security works with the military and serves similar purposes to its Soviet predecessor, the KGB. It oversees an elite counterterrorism special forces unit known as Alpha, the same name used by other former Soviet countries, including Russia and URL equals https colon slash slash polis. Os. Org slash country profiles slash kaijistan access date equals 2021-0105 website equals polis. Os. Org. Human rights. Kyrgyzstan is classified as a hybrid regime in the Democracy Index, ranking 107th out of 167 for 2020. Kyrgyzstan was also ranked not free in the 2021 Freedom in the World Report with a score of 28 one hundredths. In 2020, it was ranked partly free with a score of 39 one hundredths. After the installment of a more democratic government, many human rights violations still take place. While the country is performing well compared to other states in Central Asia, LGBT rights have been getting worse, but the freedom of press has been improving. In a move that alarmed human rights groups, dozens of prominent Uzbek religious and community leaders were arrested by security forces following the 2010 South Kyrgyzstan riots including journalist and human rights activist Azim Zaneskarov. A law banning women under the age of 23 from traveling abroad without a parent or guardian, with the purpose of increased morality and preservation of the gene pool passed in the Kyrgyz parliament in June 2013. American diplomats expressed concern in October 2014 when Kyrgyzstan lawmakers passed a law that imposes jail terms on gay rights activists and others, including journalists, who create a positive attitude toward non-traditional sexual relations. Kyrgyzstani activist and journalist Azim Zaneskarov was sentenced to life in prison in 2010. On 24 January 2017, a Kyrgyz court has reinstated a sentence of life imprisonment for Eskarov. Administrative divisions. Kyrgyzstan is divided into seven regions. The regions are subdivided into 44 districts. The districts are further subdivided into rural districts at the lowest level of administration, which include all rural settlements, Ulok Motu, and villages without an associated municipal government. The cities of Bishkek and Osh have status state importance and do not belong to any region. Each region is headed by an Akim regional governor appointed by the president. District Akims, Akimi, are appointed by regional Akims. The regions, and independent cities, are as follows. City of Bishkek Bat Kansuijal Labadner and Ostilas Isaac Kol City Vos The districts are listed as follows. Lenin District Oct Yabra District Byron Chime Districts Ferdlif District Alamadun District Che District Jail District Kemin District Moskva District Panfilov District Sokoluk District Saikata District Dokmok District Aksu District Jeti Oguz District Tong District Top District Isakul District Aktalara District At Bashi District Jungal District Kokka District Naran District Bukayata District Kara Bura District Menas District Tillers District Batkin District Kadam J District Lialik District Uxi District Alabama Bukka District Bazaar Corgan District Nookan District Suzak District Togstra District Doktogil District Chatkal District Alay District Aravan District Chongalay District Karakala District Nukat District Uzjan District Economy The National Bank of the Kyrgyz Republic serves as the Central Bank of Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan was the ninth poorest country in the former Soviet Union, and is today the second poorest country in Central Asia after Tajikistan. 22.4% of the country's population lives below the poverty line, despite the backing of major Western lenders, including the International Monetary Fund IMF, the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. 
Kyrgyzstan has had economic difficulties following independence. Initially, these were a result of the breakup of the Soviet trade bloc and resulting loss of markets, which impeded the republic's transition to a demand economy. The government has reduced expenditures, ended most price subsidies and introduced a value-added tax. Overall, the government appears committed to the transition to a market economy. Through economic stabilization and reform, the government seeks to establish a pattern of long-term consistent growth. Reforms led to Kyrgyzstan's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO on 20 December 1998. The Kyrgyz economy was severely affected by the collapse of the Soviet Union and the resulting loss of its vast market. In 1990, some 98% of Kyrgyz exports went to other parts of the Soviet Union. Thus, the nation's economic performance in the early 1990s was worse than any other former Soviet Republic except war torn Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Tajikistan, as factories and state farms collapsed with the disappearance of their traditional markets in the former Soviet Union. While economic performance has improved considerably in the last few years, and particularly since 1998, difficulties remain in securing adequate fiscal revenues and providing an adequate social safety net. Remittances of around 800,000 Kyrgyz migrants working in Russia represent 40% of Kyrgyzstan's GDP. Agriculture is an important sector of the economy in Kyrgyzstan. See agriculture in Kyrgyzstan. By the early 1990s, the private agricultural sector provided between one third and one half of some harvests. In 2002, agriculture accounted for 35. 6% of GDP and about half of employment. Kyrgyzstan's terrain is mountainous, which accommodates livestock raising, the largest agricultural activity, so the resulting wool, meat and dairy products are major commodities. Main crops include wheat, sugar beets, potatoes, cotton, tobacco, vegetables, and fruit. As the prices of imported agrochemicals and petroleum are so high, much farming is being done by hand and by horse, as it was generations ago. Agricultural processing is a key component of the industrial economy as well as one of the most attractive sectors for foreign investment. Kyrgyzstan is rich in mineral resources but has negligible petroleum and natural gas reserves, it imports petroleum and gas. Among its mineral reserves are substantial deposits of coal, gold, uranium, antimony, and other valuable metals. Metallurgy is an important industry, and the government hopes to attract foreign investment in this field. The government has actively encouraged foreign involvement in extracting and processing gold from the Kumta gold mine and other regions. The country's plentiful water resources and mountainous terrain enable it to produce and export large quantities of hydroelectric energy. The principal exports are non-ferrous metals and minerals, woolen goods and other agricultural products, electric energy and certain engineering goods. Imports include petroleum and natural gas, ferrous metals, chemicals, most machinery, wood and paper products, some foods and some construction materials. Its leading trade partners include Germany, Russia, China, Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan. After Beijing launched the Belt and Road Initiative BRI in 2013, China has expanded its economic presence and initiated a number of sizable infrastructure projects in Kyrgyzstan. In regards to telecommunication infrastructure, Kyrgyz Republic ranks last in Central Asia in the World Economic Forum's Network Readiness Index NRI dash an indicator for determining the development level of a country's information and communication technologies. Kyrgyz Republic ranked number 118 overall in the 2014 NRI ranking, unchanged from 2013 C Network Readiness Index. Kyrgyzstan is ranked 78th among countries for economic freedom by the Heritage Institute. The COVID-19 pandemic is expected to have a significant negative impact on the Kyrgyz economy that is reliant on services, remittances and natural resources. As a result, in order to mitigate the economic shock and preserve much of the development progress achieved in recent years the World Bank will provide support by financing several projects in the country. 
Tourism One of the most popular tourist destination points in Kyrgyzstan is the Lake Isik Kul. Numerous hotels, resorts and boarding houses are located along its northern shore. The most popular beach zones are in the city of Kolponat and the settlements nearby, such as Kara Oydalinka, Bostari, and Karamdi. The number of tourists visiting the lake was more than a million a year in 2006 and 2007. However, due to the economic and political instability in the region, the number has declined in recent years. Science and Technology The headquarters of the Kyrgyz Academy of Sciences is located in Bishkek, where several research institutes are located. Kyrgyz researchers are developing useful technologies based on natural products, such as heavy metal remediation for purifying wastewater. Demographics Kyrgyzstan's population is estimated at 6,586,600 in August 2020. Of those, 34.4% are under the age of 15 and 6. 2% are over 65. The country is rural, only about one third of the population live in urban areas. The average population density is 25 people per square kilometer. Ethnic groups. The nation's largest ethnic group are the Kyrgyz, a Turkic people, who comprise 73.3% of the population. Other ethnic groups include Russians 5.6% concentrated in the north and Uzbeks 14.6% living in the south. Small but noticeable minorities include Dungans 1.1%, 1. 1 Uyghurs 1.1%, 1. 1 Tajiks 1.1%, 1. 1 Kazakhs 0. 7 percent, and Ukrainians 0. 5 percent and other smaller ethnic minorities 1. 7 percent. The Kyrgyz have historically been semi-nomadic herders, living in round tents called yurts and tending sheep, horses and yaks. This nomadic tradition continues to function seasonally see transhumans as herding families return to the high mountain pasture or Jailu in the summer. The sedentary Uzbeks and Tajiks traditionally have farmed lower-lying irrigated land in the Fergana Valley. Kyrgyzstan has undergone a pronounced change in its ethnic composition since independence. The percentage of ethnic Kyrgyz has increased from around 50% in 1979 to over 70% in 2013, while the percentage of ethnic groups, such as Russians, Ukrainians, Germans and Tatars dropped from 35% to about 7%. Languages Kyrgyz is the state language of Kyrgyzstan. Russian is additionally an official language. Kyrgyzstan is one of four former Soviet republics to have Russian as an official language, along with Russia, Belarus, and Kazakhstan. After the division of the Soviet Union into countries, Kyrgyz was adopted as the state language of Kyrgyzstan in 1991. Kyrgyzstan adopted Russian as an official language in 1997. The languages have different legal status. Kyrgyz is a Turkic language of the Kipchak branch, closely related to Kazakh, Karakalpak, and Nogay Tatar. It was written in the Arabic alphabet until the 20th century. Latin script was introduced and adopted in 1928, and was subsequently replaced on Stalin's orders by Cyrillic script in 1941. In 2009, 4, 1 million people spoke Kyrgyz as native or second language and 2. 5 million spoke Russian as native or second language. Uzbek is the second most common native language with 700,000 native speakers. Many business and political affairs are carried out in Russian. Until recently, Kyrgyz remained a language spoken at home and was rarely used during meetings or other events. However, most parliamentary meetings today are conducted in Kyrgyz, with simultaneous interpretation available for those not speaking Kyrgyz. Urban Centers, Religion Islam is the dominant religion of Kyrgyzstan. The CIA World Factbook estimates that as of 2017, 90% of the population is Muslim, with the majority being Sunni, 7% are Christian, including 3% Russian Orthodoxy, and the remainder are other religions. A 2009 Pew Research Center report indicated 86. 
63% of Kyrgyzstan's population adhering to Islam. The great majority of Muslims are Sunni, adhering to the Hanafi school of thought, although a 2012 Pew survey report showed that only 23% of respondents to a questionnaire chose to identify themselves as Sunni, with 64% volunteering that they were just a Muslim. There are a few Ahmadiyya Muslims, though unrecognized by the country. During Soviet times, state atheism was encouraged. Today, however, Kyrgyzstan is a secular state, although Islam has exerted a growing influence in politics. For instance, there has been an attempt to arrange for officials to travel on Hajj the pilgrimage to Mecca under a tax-free arrangement. While Islam in Kyrgyzstan is more of a cultural background than a devout daily practice for many, public figures have expressed support for restoring religious values. For example, human rights ombudsman Tershan Bebekir Alu noted, in this era of independence, it is not surprising that there has been a return to spiritual roots not only in Kyrgyzstan, but also in other post-communist republics. It would be immoral to develop a market-based society without an ethical dimension. She emphasized that many mosques have recently been built and that the Kaijis are increasingly devoting themselves to Islam, which she noted was not a bad thing in itself. It keeps our society more moral, clean. The other faiths practiced in Kyrgyzstan include Russian Orthodox and Ukrainian Orthodox versions of Christianity, practiced primarily by Russians and Ukrainians respectively. A community of 5,000 to 10,000 Jehovah's Witnesses gather in both Kyrgyz and Russian-speaking congregations, as well as some Chinese and Turkish-speaking groups. A small minority of ethnic Germans are also Christian, mostly Lutheran and Anabaptist as well as a Roman Catholic community of approximately 600. A few animistic traditions survive, as do influences from Buddhism such as the tying of prayer flags onto sacred trees, though some view this practice rooted within Sufi Islam. There are also a small number of Bakrian Jews living in Kyrgyzstan, but during the collapse of the Soviet Union most fled to other countries, mainly the United States and Israel. In addition, there is a small community of Ashkenazi Jews, who fled to the country from Eastern Europe during the Second World War. On 6 November 2008, the Kyrgyzstan parliament unanimously passed a law increasing the minimum number of adherents for recognizing a religion from 10 to 200. It also outlawed aggressive action aimed at proselytism, and banned religious activity in schools and all activity by unregistered organizations. It was signed by President Kaman Bekbekayev on 12 January 2009. There have been several reported police raids against peaceful minority religious meetings, as well as reports of officials planting false evidence, but also some court decisions in favor of religious minorities. Culture, traditions, manners. An epic poem commues, a three stringed lute tushkais, large, elaborately embroidered wall hangings sherdak, flat cushions made in shadow pairs, other textiles especially made from felt Alabama khaki u, bride kidnapping, traditional form of marriage in Kyrgyzstan falconry legal, but still practiced, is the tradition of bride kidnapping. It is debatable whether bride kidnapping is actually traditional. Some of the confusion may stem from the fact that arranged marriages were traditional, and one of the ways to escape an arranged marriage was to arrange a consensual kidnapping. Flag. The 40 rayed yellow sun in the center of the national flag represents the 40 tribes that once made up the entirety of Kaji's culture before the intervention of Russia during the rise of the Soviet Union. The lines inside the sun represent the crown or tanduk Kaji's of a yurt, a symbol replicated in many facets of Kaji's architecture. The red portion of the flag represents peace and openness of Kyrgyzstan. Under Soviet rule and before 1992, it had the flag of the Soviet Union with two big blue stripes and a white thin stripe in the middle. Public holidays. In addition to celebrating the New Year each the 1st of January, the Kaijus observe the traditional New Year festival now used on the vernal equinox. This spring holiday is celebrated with feasts and festivities such as the horse game Olaktatish. This is the list of public holidays in Kyrgyzstan, 1 January.
New Year's Day 7 January, Orthodox Christmas 23 February, Fatherland Defenders Day 8 March, Women's Day 21 to 23 March, Nor Oyuz Mer Irami, Persian New Year Spring Festival 7 April, Day of National Revolution 1 May, Labor Day 5 May, Constitution Day 8 May, Remembrance Day 9 May, Victory Day 31 August, Independence Day 7 to 8 November, Days of History and Commemoration of Ancestors 2 Additional Muslim Holidays Ozo 8 and Kamin or Kaban 8 are defined by the lunar calendar. Sports Football is the most popular sport in Kyrgyzstan. The official governing body is the Football Federation of Kyrgyz Republic, which was founded in 1992, after the split of the Soviet Union. It administers the Kyrgyzstan national football team. Wrestling is also very popular. In the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, two athletes from Kyrgyzstan won medals in Greco-Roman wrestling, Kanat Bekbigalov silver and Ruslan Tayumen Bf bronze. Ice hockey was not as popular in Kyrgyzstan until the first ice hockey championship was organized in 2009. In 2011, the Kyrgyzstan men's national ice hockey team won 2011 Asian Winter Games Premier Division dominating in all six games with six wins. It was the first major international event that Kyrgyzstan's ice hockey team took part in. The Kyrgyzstan men's ice hockey team joined the IF in July 2011. Bandy is becoming increasingly popular in the country. The Kyrgyz national team took Kyrgyzstan's first medal at the Asian Winter Games, when they captured the bronze. They played in the Bandy World Championship 2012, their first appearance in that tournament. Martial Arts Valentina Shevchenko is a Kyrgyzstani Peruvian professional mixed martial artist who competes in the women's flyweight division of the Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC, where she is the current women's flyweight champion. Boxing Dmitry Bival is a Kyrgyzstani professional boxer from Tokmokh, who competes in the light heavyweight division. Since 2017, he has held the World Boxing Association light heavyweight title. As of August 2019, Bival is ranked as the world's best active light heavyweight by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board and BoxRec, and third by The Ring magazine. Kyrgyzstan's national basketball team had its best performance at the official 1995 Asian Basketball Championship where the team surprisingly finished ahead of favorites such as Iran, Philippines, and Jordan. Horse Riding The traditional national sports reflect the importance of horse riding in Kyrgyz culture. Very popular, as in all of Central Asia, is Alaktartish a team game resembling a cross between polo and rugby in which two teams of riders wrestle for possession of the headless carcass of a goat, which they attempt to deliver across the opposition's goal line, or into the opposition's goal. A big tabora circle marked on the ground. Other popular games on horseback include, at Chebish, a long-distance horse race, sometimes over a distance of more than 50 kilometers jumbi at Mai. A large bar of precious metal the jumbi is tied to a pole by a thread and contestants attempt to break the thread by shooting at it, while at a gallop Kai's Kumai, a man chases a girl in order to win a kiss from her, while she gallops away, if he is not successful she may in turn chase him and attempt to beat him with her kamki horse whip Oudarej. Two contestants wrestle on horseback, each attempting to be the first to throw the other from his horse tie in their mai, picking up a coin from the ground at full gallop. Education The school system in Kyrgyzstan includes primary grades 1 to 4, some schools have optional 0 grade, secondary grades 5 to 9 and high grades 10 to 11 divisions within one school. Children are usually accepted to primary schools at the age of 6 or 7. It is required that every child finishes nine grades of school and receives a certificate of completion. Grades 10 to 11 are optional, but it is necessary to complete them to graduate and receive a state-accredited school diploma. To graduate, a student must complete the 11-year school course and pass four mandatory state exams in writing, maths, history and a foreign language. There are 77 public schools in Bishkek capital city and more than 200 in the rest of the country. 
There are 55 higher educational institutions and universities in Kyrgyzstan, out of which 37 are state institutions. In September 2016, the University of Central Asia was launched in Narin, Kyrgyzstan. Libraries. Kyrgyzstan is home to 1,066 libraries. The National Library of the Kyrgyz Republic is the oldest library in the country, which was established in 1934. Kyrgyz libraries are working towards expanding access to communities, evident in projects such as the signing of the Marrakesh VIP Treaty and the Open Access Portal. Transport Transport in Kyrgyzstan is severely constrained by the country's alpine topography. Roads have to snake up steep valleys, cross passes of altitude and more, and are subject to frequent mudslides and snow avalanches. Winter travel is close to impossible in many of the more remote and high-altitude regions. Additional problems come from the fact that many roads and railway lines built during the Soviet period are today intersected by international boundaries, requiring time-consuming border formalities to cross where they are not completely closed. Horses are still a much-used transport option, especially in more rural areas. Kyrgyzstan's road infrastructure is not extensive, so horses are able to reach locations that motor vehicles cannot, and they do not require expensive, imported fuel. Airports. At the end of the Soviet period there were about 50 airports and airstrips in Kyrgyzstan, many of them built primarily to serve military purposes in this border region so close to China. Only a few of them remain in service today. The Kyrgyzstan Air Company provides air transport to China, Russia, and other local countries. Manas International Airport near Bishkek is the main international airport, with services to Moscow, Tashkent, Almaty, Urumqi, Istanbul, Baku, and Dubai. Osh Airport is the main air terminal in the south of the country, with daily connections to Bishkek, and services to Moscow. Krasnoyarsk, Almaty and more international places. Jalabad Airport is linked to Bishkek by daily flights. The national flag carrier, Kyrgyzstan, operates flights on B-146 aircraft. During the summer months, a weekly flight links Jalabad with the Isikul region. Other facilities built during the Soviet era are either closed down, used only occasionally or restricted to military use. G. Kant Air Base near Bishkek, which is used by the Russian Air Force. Banned airline status. Kyrgyzstan appears on the European Union's list of prohibited countries for the certification of airlines. This means that no airline that is registered in Kyrgyzstan may operate services of any kind within the European Union, due to safety standards that fail to meet European regulations. No EU airline has flights to Kyrgyzstan as of 2020. Travel between the European Union and Kyrgyzstan includes changing aircraft, most often in Moscow or Istanbul. Railways The Chai Valley in the north and the Fergana Valley in the south were endpoints of the Soviet Union's rail system in Central Asia. Following the emergence of independent post-Soviet states, the rail lines which were built without regard for administrative boundaries have been cut by borders, and traffic is therefore severely curtailed. The small bits of rail lines within Kyrgyzstan, about broad gauge in total, have little economic value in the absence of the former bulk traffic over long distances to and from such centers as Tashkent, Almaty, and the cities of Russia. There are vague plans about extending rail lines from Balikchi in the north and or from Osh in the south into China, but the cost of construction would be enormous. Rail links with adjacent countries. Kazakhstan, yes. Bishkek branch, same gauge Uzbekistan, yes. Osh branch, same gauge Tajikistan, no. Same gauge China, no. Break of gauge 1524 mm slash 1435 mm. Highways. With support from the Asian Development Bank, a major road linking the north and southwest from Bishkek to Osh has recently been completed. This considerably eases communication between the two major population centers of the country, the Chai Valley in the north and the Fergana Valley in the south. An offshoot of this road branches off across a 3,500-meter pass into the Tullas Valley in the northwest. 
plans are now being formulated to build a major road from Oshin to China. Total, including of expressways paved, includes some all-weather gravel surfaced roads unpaved. These roads are made of unstabilized earth and are difficult to negotiate in wet weather 1990. Ports and harbors.